guys, if you guys didn't know, we're out here hanging at the MTM booth. I want to have um, you guys understand kind of whole differences on what they currently have, because uh, they're kind of what made today possible, this week possible, the new Aqualine. We've got Mike here. He's actually the number one specialist we were talking. Yes. But I didn't understand the Aqualine and the differences versus kind of what a lot of the people on my channel might have. I think a lot of people are familiar with this gun, this wand, and the original foam cannon. So just give us a quick rundown on the new stuff and yeah. what the differences are. So we wanted to do a little bit of an upgrade here. So what we're looking at on the foam cannon in particular, obviously we've got the flat bottom now. This is gonna be rolled out in January. Of course it stands now, which is nice. But we want to talk about the Aqualine. The whole reason behind this is it's actually a 316 stainless selection. This is food grade, which means there's no leaching into the system. It's BPA free, it has an international mark saying that. The reason we're introducing it into the detail world is because uh, the introduction of chemicals can a lot of times cause corrosion. And so with 316, you're gonna have zero chance of corrosion. Yeah. You will still have your fittings on here, and even though they're 303 and 304, uh, stainless that is, the exposure to water is minimal versus the, the other portions of the lens. And the expense to do that would probably be significant. Yes, yeah. exactly. Okay. So um, it's a, a thicker grip as well, so it is rated for hot water, which is why right. it's vented. The gun itself is now rated to, this is a 5,000 PSI gun. Unlike the old version, yep. this is still a great gun. It's a 4,000 PSI versus a 5,000. So okay. just looking at it, you can see it's a little bit more bulky. There's a little it's more to thicker. hold on yeah, to yeah. with it. Yeah, like the handle right here, I was noticing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that yeah, they're versus just a little bit bigger. And then what about the trigger? Yeah, so it's still an easy pull trigger. The uh, the cam system is slightly different on the SG35 because it's a bigger gun. This okay. is still a prototype, so we're not gonna have these until probably about March of 2020. But it is an easy pull. You have your stainless brass, I'm sorry, your stainless swivel built into it. You have your nickel plated brass valve body, which is very important to the uh, resistance to chemicals. And inside the seat where the ball sits on it, there's a stainless ball and a stainless seat, both are 316. So it's okay. a higher grade of stainless inside. Right. So if someone like me does, you know, washes their car with this thing once, maybe twice a week, mm -hmm. What would be the reasoning to get the Aqualine versus the SGS-28? So, the PSI differences are gonna be the biggest indicator. Okay. A lot of customers may not need a 5,000 PSI gun. However, what we found is that the sheer volume of water, anything over about four gallons a minute and five gallons a minute, often, right. you're gonna to wanna to go to an SG-35. Right, It's okay. a more robust gun. Okay, yeah. okay. All so, right. Uh, as far as functionality, the trigger is going to be virtually the same. Um, you're going to have your nickel plated outlets on both, as you can see. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the similar features. But like I said, this is a, being in the contract cleaning world, we develop these products for the contract cleaners that are doing it professionally. Right. So okay. they actually need this. The, the FDA will approve this for, you know, going to Tyson Foods and that kind of stuff. So, right. Um, you know, it's, it's a bit of a dual purpose. Okay. But extreme corrosion resistance, which is what we, you know, the, the, the guys in the detailing industry that we know, I mean, you guys go through some they're, stuff. You have they're gloves. beating the crap out yes. of their stuff. Like, yes. for the weekend warriors, this one's actually fared really well oh, for yeah. me. Yeah. I've never had any issues, which yeah. is nice. Yeah, no. For the it's, price, it's that's great. probably one of the best ones out there. It's a little more slender. This is actually the one that I have at home. So right. I prefer this one just because I'm working on, you know, maybe once every other week I'll actually be uh, using my pressure washer. But, yeah. Um, for the guys that are the pros that are cleaning this gun, you can beat the crap out of it. It's a ribbed housing design, which means it actually holds the pipe. There's no space in between here. There's ribs that secure it in place yep. um, with a uh, fiberglass reinforced uh, trigger. So this part's fiberglass? Yes, this is a fiberglass reinforced trigger, so it won't break. As you can see, it's, like I said, it's a pro. Yeah, yeah. And then this deal, the only difference here is the bottle. Yes, so the body is the same. 
okay. it ain't broke, don't fix it. So the phone right. can of the PF22 is still going to be, uh, you know, our bread and butter. We put a lot of research and development behind it. Of course, you know it because of the vertical and horizontal spray patterns, clickable feature on top. So for your chemical ratios, and now. She finally stands. It stands up, even without <laughs> liquid in it. Finally. You can get the regular one to stand up if you are very you, strategic yes, about... You fill it, you angle it. <laughs> <laughs> so, obviously you can just probably buy the bottles by themselves yes. for those people who want them to stand up. Yes. Is it the, the same so capacity? Yes, it's one liter, one It's quart. just shorter and yep. wider instead of taller right. and thinner. And it is calibrated. Okay. On the side over here so you know how much to put in. Yeah. Okay, very good. When's the PF23 come out? That's what everyone wants to know. That's what I want to know. Uh, I plead the fifth. <laughs> of course. Um, well, last thing, the tip on yes. the gun or on the wand so here. Again, we're talking about 316 stainless. It is a nozzle guard. So the whole concept behind it is that even with the hardened plastic for the QC tips, uh, if you hit it, you will still scratch and bend. So yeah. this is a rubberized material. Uh, it is food grade. You see the little symbol on there. Yep. So in the in the professional industry, you're using this for overspray to make sure you're not hitting certain things. In the detailing world, of course, you don't want to hit the vehicle, and I'm guilty of it. When you engage this, it doesn't engage all the oh, way. Oh boy! And you shoot it out. At least you're not going to. Yep. Take it that's. I think that's happened to everyone at least once. Yes. Well, the trick is to aim it to the side yes. first. Always shoot off to the side and then come yeah, back. Yeah, I learned my lesson. Yeah. Thank God. That actually happened once with the foam cannon. Ooh. I didn't put the foam cannon yep. all the right, and the whole cannon <laughs> blew off. And uh, I was actually trying to teach my buddy how to use it, and I yeah. looked like a dummy. <laughs> you taught him what not to do. Yeah, exactly. So the wait, where's the the regular tips? Yep. So. This is, I think, the white one. Yep, the 40 degree. Right, the 40 so degree is what most people have. That's what I have. Yeah, and I also so have 25 for like the wheels. I'll use yep. the 25 just for a little bit more pressure. And these are universal, so across any industry, the yellow is 15, the green is 25, the white is 40, and the red is don't touch it. So, like laser. Yes, yeah. this guy, we're launching them with 25 and 40 degree. Okay. We pre installed the nozzle, so this is fixed, it's not going to come out but it's the last nozzle you're gonna use. There's not gonna be any rust. It's easy to clean. All you do is, if you if you shoot something into it and it stops, yeah. you just use a pin and you can push it back the other way. And then tap, oops, sorry. And then tap it on the table. Yep. So, even though this has, because I'm trying to piece this together for my own purposes, like you have this which is protecting, which is nice, but then you would potentially put this in here. Yeah. Are you so, going to see people? I mean, you're going to see people do that, right? Yeah. Ideally, this is the setup that you're going to want. There's no more need for this boot here. Right. In fact, when this was first launched, the boot, because this is already extending past it, it's losing its purpose. You need a larger boot. It needs to be longer. Right. So yeah, now exactly. that's why we have this. Okay. So you can remove this fitting and pull off the boot if you right. want, or you can slide it back. Ours. You can move. So for someone that already has this but wants like a different tip, yep. I guess just you can, yeah, I mean, rip it's the boot still off. MTM products. It's all compatible. Yeah, yeah. It's a quarter inch uh, coupler. Yeah. So I mean, it's just a quarter inch uh, coupler and plug. Yeah. So it's all compatible. Okay. Yeah, and then you guys have had these for sale before. Oh yeah. Like we, in your catalog, but it's just not sure. the food grade. No, so this is food grade. Also, okay. you know, you have to give credit where credit's due. And, and this is one of those things where um, Obsess Garage is, uh, they're a great advocate for our products. And sometimes it takes new blood to bring light to uh, an existing product. So, yeah, we've had these. You they've refreshed been it since yeah. people are suddenly exactly. interested. Um, yeah. You know, we've had this available for since our company's inception in 2006. Yeah. And MTM Hydro over in Italy's had these for decades. So, <laughs> it's not a new. I've I've seen them before, like I yes. swear, I'm like, it's blue, but it, there's a lot more to exactly. it. <laughs> yeah, so, and I mean, there's 10 of them that they offer, and they're all okay. different styles. So, this is the highest end, um, the highest grade with the 316, obviously. Yeah. And so, once you install your nozzle and your plug and all of that, I mean, this is the finished product. Cool. Very good. Yeah. And then, obviously, we have the rest of the stuff, but that's the latest and greatest. I actually really... It's very simple, but I'm excited for it, you know, so cool. Very good. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you.